mornings are one of the busiest times of the week. Um, we're always faced with mopping up with bumps and bruises, any knocks, any injuries that we have on the Saturday. Uh, the intensity of the games means we'll always have, uh, we'll always have something. Um, so we're in nice and early on a Monday morning, half eight start. Get the boys, any boys that have any doubt whether they're going to train or not, have to be in early so as we can make that decision. We then have to plan out the week, who's going to train that day, who's going to play, uh, train at all through the week um, and who might be longer term injured. For the guys that are maybe longer term injuries, we have to spend some time with them on a Monday and make sure we agree their goals and targets for the week uh, to keep them interested. That can vary depending on how long term the injury is as to what their goals might be and how their goals might change. Uh, we try and keep everything as informal as, as we can. We don't have any formal sit down with the players to agree goals or targets. We just uh, basically chat to them. There's always an element of their treatment where they'll be on the, the plinth and there'll be a bit of manual therapy or whatever. So that's for chance, just while they're relaxed. There's other players about sometimes and it keeps the environment nice and relaxed and then we get a chance to speak to them, see how they're feeling. Um, and make sure they're happy as I say and agree what physical targets they're going to have that week um, and make sure they feel they're moving forward. We also have to spend some time with them uh, just to, to, to keep make sure they're happy, make sure that they're positive about where they are, they feel they're progressing. Uh, we all know that mental health is a big issue in football, that's well documented in the press these days. So it's important that we keep uh, the guys interested, make sure they're feeling positive and they're progressing well. On a Monday afternoon, um, it's again it can be quite busy for me because I'm then tidying up from the weekend and making sure all my, all my bag and my equipment's uh, checked, cleaned and ready to use again at any time. Um, on Tuesday I do an evening clinic as well, uh, which overlaps with the academy teams and the ladies team. Um, the ladies team is probably the main thing I do on a Tuesday night as it's turned out. Um, they've become uh, quite popular visits into the stadium um, but it's good because it gives them a wee bit of help they don't have any physical cover as it stands um, so it's been, it's been good actually just taking a give them a wee helping hand and Thursday's a big day for me because that's when uh, we're getting ready for the game that's when guys are showing if they're fit or not um, it's an endurance day in training so they do work really hard on a Thursday and again there might be a wee bit for me to mop up afterwards just a wee bit TLC um, we try and get as many players as we can to train on Thursday, whether they need a wee bit of rest, just a wee bit of recovery time early in the week, but we certainly like to have players training by Thursday if we're, if we're going to be playing in the weekend. So again, it's busy in the morning, uh, lots of people maybe with so tired legs that need a wee bit of freshening up, just a wee bit of recovery time, uh, with myself and Peter the masseuse. Um, they train and then a lot of time on a Thursday, because training is quite hard, the guys will come back and want to see us both again. Uh, so we can be uh, that can stretch well into the afternoon that we're treating players. Friday it tends to be a shorter day in training, uh, but it's all about getting intensi intensity right so that the boys are prepared for the Saturday. We're trying to get them to peak on a Saturday, so the weekly training schedule is measured to make sure that they're ready to go on a Saturday. Game day on a Saturday is always the best day, and um, we get to, to to watch football, so it's always the best day. Um, for me, it starts early, uh, as soon as the boys arrive, uh, the ones, I'll not mention their names, they know who they are, are in early, looking for some TLC uh, and uh, some preparation. Um, I provide also the pitch side cover during the game, so that keeps me busy, and obviously you can be here for a wee while after the game as well, depending on any bumps and bruises and knocks that happen during it. So it's a really busy working week. That's really just the time we spend with the players, or the rightly with players. Um, from a, my own point of view, there's lots of liaison with one in the kitchen about the nutrition uh, the intake that the boys have through the week. I have to liaise with the doctor on a weekly basis, we only see him at home games, so um, it's keeping in touch with him uh, so he's up to date with everything. Um, I try and keep in touch, we've got a couple of important partners that help the medical team, um, with, uh, the Mercury Hotel. Uh, help us out, we can use their gym facilities and the Ursula Log Cabins let us use their uh, hydrotherapy pools. So I keep in touch with these guys as well, just to make sure we're touching base for when we need them. Um, I have to make sure that we maintain and clean our stock and our equipment. Um, I'm doing a FIFA approved online diploma in sports medicine. Uh, so I have to find some time in the week uh, to devote to, to that. 
and just maintain my overall kind of CPD and my own personal development to make sure we're up to date with everything we're doing with the players, everything's appropriate and valid in terms of treatment. So it's a really busy week, um, it's not just about turning up on a Saturday, we're loving guys and going and playing football, there's a lot of work goes on behind the scenes and the medical team's no different. Does everyone get the exact same food every single day or do you have a special diet for any of them? Predominantly every day has the same food. Um, and I try to wear, well, obviously, if you're possible, we'll get a, an idea of what everybody likes. Um, we have a high protein, high carbohydrate diet because it's post training. Um, and we have one person that's on a no carb diet and one person who may have an allergy to corn. So when when we dishes that require red meat, we don't um, feed players red meat in, in here. Um, they can have red meat up to three times a week, but we really expect them to have that at home. So when we have corn, um, lasagna for instance, I'll make one dish of chicken lasagna for the player that doesn't eat corn. So but yeah, they predominantly all have the same food. So what is this today? Today we have chicken tikka. That now that's um, there is chicken pieces, cooked chicken pieces with tikka paste and uh, natural yogurt. Some a, a small amount of double cream, and that gets uh, done in the oven with some red peppers. We're going to serve it with a warm flatbread, some salad, and some sweet chilli sauce. And today the soup is. Butternut squash and sweet potato. So is it a different menu every week, trying to make it varied or daily? We have a we have a rota of around twenty different dishes, tried and tested that you know that everybody seems to like. Um, same with soups, um, but occasion this is a new one. They've not had this one before, so occasionally we'll I'll have a wee look for something that's just a wee bit different to maybe break the monotony a wee bit. So that's one we've not had before, so hopefully it'll, it'll be a success. And if it's not a success, we don't have it again. 